This video is a minor addition to a 46 CTI review and a video about 8GB limitations. If you haven't seen, check them out first. Today we are going to focus specifically on Unreal Engine 5, since this engine provides revolutionary tools for game developers, and a key feature of Unreal Engine 5 is Nanite. We won't go deep into how Nanite works in this video, but shortly it allows the usage of extremely detailed assets used previously only in CGI in real-time rendering and getting completely rid of popping issues. Today we are going to test three most graphically advanced Unreal Engine 5 titles that are leaving the whole industry behind in terms of visuals on a pretty average GPUs that are an RTX 4060 Ti 8GB and an RX 6700 XT with 12. This video will answer two questions. Are pretty average GPUs ready to render the beauty of Unreal 5? And is an 8GB buffer even a bigger problem for this new generation of games? Hello and welcome back to Hardware Lab. All the games were run in two modes, first using ultra settings and second using an optimized preset that is tuned to achieve around 60 FPS and not be bottlenecked on the 8GB card. Both modes use 1440p resolution, the test of RX 6700 XT are done on Ryzen 5 3600 and the test of 4060Ti on Ryzen 9 3900X. However, it won't affect the performance, since both systems are GPU limited most of the time and the loading stats is there to prove it. All runs were done multiple times and final graphs data, as usual, was measured during the separate run from recording. Performance of both GPUs and Fort Solis on maxed out settings is a big disappointment, none of them provides even a close to 30 FPS. 4060 Ti at first glance seems to do a better job and not even be in VROM limited, but if we look closer we find the missing textures that 4060 Ti has failed to load due to a ridiculous VROM buffer size. With the reduced settings and FSR in case of AMD and DLSS in case of Nvidia, it is possible to run the game in a much smoother frame rate. Of course, the internal res in this case is slower, uh, and the quality reduction is visible, especially because some shaders rendering is connected to the internal res. However, the game is now absolutely playable and still looks pretty good. 4060 Ti is now definitely ahead with no texture streaming issue. The performance in Remnant 2 is almost exactly the same between two GPUs and to our surprise the game has no issues with the 8GB buffer. It is worth mentioning that Remnant is the only game in our list that supports only Nanite technology and not Lumen.
Enabling upscaling makes RTX 4060 Ti look a bit better in this test, but we are using DLSS on Nvidia card and FSR on AMD, so that can make a difference. Anyway, the main thing here is that both GPUs are completely capable of running perfectly stable 60 in this game on Ultra with upscaling. Using Ultra settings, RTX 4060 Ti cannot provide a stable frame rate in Immortals of Avium. Constant freezes make the game feel unsmooth. RX 6700 XT, on the other hand, despite providing pretty close FPS numbers, shows more consistent performance. Moreover, in some scenes, texture streaming problems can also appear on 4060 Ti at times in this game. Reduction of most VRAM demanding settings and enabling upscaling improves overall performance by a lot. Even with those reductions, Immortals visuals stay ahead of the most games in the industry and the game works fine even on 8GB 4060Ti. Needless to say that texture quality rendering and pools reduction is completely unnecessary for 6700XT, but it helps a lot on 4060Ti. Coming back to our questions, the answer is probably yes for both. Yes, pretty average GPUs are able to run Unreal 5 games with all the technologies they have, and these modern games will look better than most of the other games on these cards. Of course, these games are generally more demanding than even the most advanced Unreal 4 projects or games based on other engines, but the visual difference that new technologies make is really huge so it totally makes sense for them to be more demanding. And about our favorite topic on this channel, it is likely that Unreal 5 projects with Nanite and Lumen are way more VRAM demanding. Nothing critical yet, if you are an owner of, I don't know, RTX 3070 or 2080, go on and run Unreal 5 games, you will anyway get really impressive visuals if tuned the settings properly. But if you want to buy an 8GB card for AAA projects today with a budget that lets you afford something better than 3050, that makes no sense at all. And this test is just another proof of that. Welcome to a new era of demanding but unbelievably beautiful games on Unreal Engine 5. And if you want to see where it goes, stay up to date with HL.